Okay, so a lot of people have asked me how I do my makeup, and I have decided to share my little tips with you on makeup so you can learn how to work my magic as well. Um, I typically use Mary Kay products. Unfortunately, I don't have a Mary Kay consultant, so I'm going to show you what I do use right now. Um, I'm going to start off with the primer that I use. Uh, for all, all of you guys who have mentioned that glow that I have in my pictures, it's this. So you just get about that much or however much you need. Now after that's rubbed in, I move on to my concealer. So um, the concealer that I use is Maybelline. It's the Smooth Mousse. I use the classic Ivory. So the inside. And just evenly apply it. Then I apply a powder foundation. All right, and then after that, I move on to the eyeshadow. And I think this is the part that everybody was interested in learning. Now, the eyeshadow that I use, I don't even know how much it costs. It's called Nude. Um, depending on the look you're trying to get, a lot of people were interested in the eyeshadow that I did. I don't necessarily like that look because it's too dark. I typically like to stick with natural colors because it doesn't look like I'm caking so much makeup on. I'm going to start off, I'm going to do the lightest color on the top. So, this is going to be the tricky part. This is the part that I usually skip when I do my makeup now, unless I'm just playing around because it's so easy to mess up. So, this is going to be an onyx color. And what I do is I find the crease to my eye and kind of slightly draw it in and add a little point there so it creates some sort of illusion that your eye is slanted up a little bit and it gives it that sort of porn star cat look so um And the trick is getting it darker in the corners right here. That's how I do it anyway. And then having it slowly get lighter as it gets towards the center of your eye. Okay, now it's time for eyeliner. So, I start off on this corner. And you can make a thin line if you want, you can make a thinner line. It all depends on what look you're going for. I typically like to make it thinner, but with the makeup that I was playing around with last night, I did it thicker, so I'm showing you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is, since I think that this looks a little too dark in this area, I'm going to add some white and kind of blend this in around here so that, that is, it doesn't look as dark because that's just too much makeup for me. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That looks good. That looks much, much better. Okay, so after that, now that I've added 
the lines right there on each side. It looks like I need to make eyeliner on this side a little darker. Okay. Now it's time for the mascara. I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner to the bottom. Okay, now that's done. Now it's time to bronze a little bit. To put a little bit of color after you've added the foundation and the powder on, you want to kind of even it out so that you don't look like you're pasty and dying. So I use a light bronze. Um, I'm not a big lip gloss fan, but it's kind of fun to put on every once in a while, right? Okay, there you go. And for those of you who have piercings, I have my Monroe pierced. So I am going to screw this back on. Beautiful. And I'm going to put in my nose ring. Okay, so that's it. Um, after you're done, you can go out or take pictures of yourself for Facebook because that's what I do. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed my video and I honestly thought that I would never do something like this so I was not prepared for what I should and should not say. But anyway, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned some tips and uh, good luck. Take some pictures of yourself and let me see how it worked for you.